What's up guys, how's it going? For those of you just tuning in, my name is Eric Ramirez and today we're gonna cover my vlogging setup. I'm sure a lot of you folks are at home. I don't know where you figured, hey, you know, I should start doing tutorials or start playing Fortnite and streaming on Twitch. I got you guys covered. I took about three months, probably a little bit more, to figure out what was the best system. After the three months, I finally concluded that the EOS R was gonna be my vlogging camera of choice. I have a couple different support systems here. I'm working on a bigger table, as you guys can see. And another thing, I can't take myself too seriously, obviously. I actually got this at the 2018 uh, Arnold Classic. And ever since, I've actually loved the material. I, I love the message. And hey, it's cool. Anyways, let's get back to it. You gotta protect your investment. For me, having a bag that's easily accessible is a must because you don't wanna be struggling opening up a bag, struggling to get it out, or you know, sometimes uh, bags kind of restrict you from getting your, your own equipment. I feel that bags are meant to make things easier to protect your equipment. In the middle, I have my EOS R. On the side, I have my mic. And then on the other side, I have my 24 to 1 5 kit lens. So I absolutely love how they designed this bag, the pockets, the placement. You, you can put, I mean, SD cards here, batteries, anything else. Uh, another thing that's really cool is the fact that they have like a little side pocket here that you can put your iPad, your notepad, or anything else. And then it has like this magnetic closure. I think that's awesome. Uh, they have a few other pouches on the side. They have an, a, a front pocket too. I usually put my batteries in the front pocket. I'm not gonna go too in depth with this bag, but I will in future videos. So, EOS R, the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect vlogging camera and streaming camera too. I, I, I was watching a few YouTube videos before I was gonna make mine. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. You could actually stream. Uh, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, you can utilize this camera right here. One of the things that influenced me to buy this camera is I, I was a Canon user since the beginning. I started with Canon and I love their colors. Uh, a lot of people are going to say the colors are absolutely amazing and they really are. And you know, I went from the 5D Mark II to the 5D Mark III and then I switched over to Sony A7S Mark II. I sold that one for this and my FS5 for this. And I've been absolutely loving this camera. Every time I've been using it, I fall in love with it even more. I end up finding out it uses LPE6 batteries. These are, the original LPE6 batteries are expensive and I'm so happy I never got rid of them or sold them. So if you have the 5D Mark III or 5D Mark II, save your batteries. So that, that was one of the biggest influences. Uh, another thing is the autofocusing. The autofocusing is insane. Uh, I don't have to invest in making sure it's in focus or fiddle with it. I just touch and go. Or sometimes I just record and go. That's it. Full frame. It has great 1080p footage. I don't shoot 4K too much just because it's an extra investment I have to make on storage, on, on a machine as well something that's capable of handling, an editing system that's capable of handling 4K. But I've occasionally used the 4K features on this and it's amazing. Change your settings to 4K, it kind of crops in a little bit. I honestly don't mind it. It's cool with me. It's all good. I still get great image. The size is way more pleasing just because the other, like the 5D Mark IV, 5D Mark III, is a little bit bulkier. So it actually, is, this is why this bag suits it because it's not too bulky to where I'm kind of struggling to take it out. I just take it out because it's, you know, it's a mirrorless camera, so it's a little slim. The Rode Mic Video Pro. It has a mic input, a headphone input. It has the HDMI input. It has USB-C. That's freaking cool. So there you go. That's my vlogging setup right here. It's, it's a great investment. And like I said, for me, it's always getting or investing in things that are gonna last me a good while. I have three 
uh, tripod systems here. They all serve its purpose. For me, it's always about having options. This is the Gorillapod 5K Pro. It's made out of aluminum, it's very sturdy. Everything has its pros and its cons. Remember that. It's like buying a truck, buying a car, buying a house, like with anything, it's gonna have its pros and its cons. If you have a lot of money, you don't really necessarily have to worry about cons because you could have one of each. You could have the best truck, you could have the best racing car, you could have the best off-roading truck. The EOS R was priced very competitively against other cameras. Uh, I don't have nothing against other cameras. They all have their features that make them stand out. For this, this has a lot of features that makes it really stand out. There you go, Joby. Uh, Gorilla Pod. It's cool because specifically for rails, I was doing an exercise going up, up and down the stairs and it was very sturdy. The only thing is when you're trying to go from this, let's just say I'm right here. I'm going to kind of show you guys a little it's like, what's up guys? I'm a tap. There you go. I'm in focus. So boom, there you go. Hey, what's up guys? We're vlogging. We're setting up and we're about to uh, get on the table just to show you guys something. Just give me a second. You know, I'm just setting up my tripod legs. Uh, oh wait, I gotta set up this. So right about there. All right, we're good to go. Bam. That's that's one of the things that I'm not too much of a fan of. It's a it's a good investment. If you're gonna keep it simple, if you're just gonna do things around the house, or if you're just gonna go to the office, you don't necessarily uh, do a lot of tutorials on fitness, you do more tutorials on other things. This right here is freaking cool. So this is the version two of the Manfrotto uh, little tripod. I'm going from this. What's up guys? I'm going from this on the Manfrotto system. Oh wait, I gotta show you guys something. I gotta put it on the table real quick. Boom, boom. All right, boom, we're good to go. All right, let me show you, just kidding. So, there you guys have it. It's very, very simple to um, put it on a table. They're getting really sophisticated with these things because um, I screwed it on here without having to twist it, twist the camera into the tripod. We're gonna get into this because this is what I need to do on the next one. These little buttons here extends the legs. Bam, so if you need a little bit more height adjustment, there you guys have it. And uh, if you need, kind of drop it a little lower. You guys can press this little button here on the side and it'll actually drop it a lot lower. Look at that. That's freaking cool. Uh, this one initially, like I said, you got to screw it on. It's kind of annoying when you have to screw things on. I was doing a short film and this is a, the, the little system that we actually got for a refrigerator shot. So we actually placed this inside the fridge and I said, we need height. So obviously we, we added height right here. Bam, there you go. This is perfect for that. This one could go the lowest. This one could go the lowest too, but it's a little difficult just to try to extend the legs all the way. There you guys have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and I hope this video helps somebody out there. Subscribe, like, like I said, comment, and share it with somebody that needs, you know, a vlogging camera, or is looking for a vlogging camera right now. And I'll see you guys soon.